Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Perimeter Empire on the Hermitcraft server. And guys, I tell you, crazy stuff happened. I, yeah, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see. Man, you know, I'm just a peaceful tomato farmer minding his own business in his own empire. I didn't bother anybody. Well, okay, I messed with Green a little bit, but that, you know, this has nothing to do with some kingly business. Um, but yeah, those guys, they wouldn't leave me alone. But before we talk about that, of course, we need to talk about the thumbnail fan art of today. And yeah, this time we have this amazing piece by Bell Marzi. You know, it's a different color, different shading, different style, a bit in the darker uh, sphere. You know, normally you want to use bright stuff for the YouTube thumbnails, but, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, it's about featuring the cool art. And hey, hey, by the way, happy belated birthday, Bermarzi. They posted that uh, picture um, in September 12th. So, yeah, <laughs> happy birthday to you. And by the way, Belmarzi has commissions open. They let me know. So make sure to check them out. All the important links in the video description. There's some amazing art pieces, a link to their portfolio. And yeah, I just can recommend if you're looking for some cool custom artwork, um, you know, holler at them. That's what I always say. We have so amazingly talented artists in our community. And, you know, um, people always struggle with their YouTube channels. They need graphics. They need that. Hollow. Hollow at them. And they're happy to help you out. And um, yeah, this is part of the crazy story that happened here while I was just peacefully preparing for our next episode. You know, I uh, made this little villager breeder here, uh, put some time in, got some villagers, cured them, did that, did them, and then we have the breeder here. We need them because, well, we want to add some stuffs to our Hall of Goat, where you can see I made some decent progress. Yeah! Let's check it out. Uh-huh! So I put a lot of glass in and started uh, to cover the roof now. And I think, yeah, it's really, really taking shape. Look, it's having a real nice organic flow to it already. And yeah, the roof is sitting in there majestically. And we definitely will go in, you know, put some vegetation in place and so on. I got the glass windows in. Green glass windows, everything is covered. On top, you know, where the framing is for our glass, uh, we will continue with our copper pattern as well. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, um, grass laid out. I need to put some, some lamps in here. Obviously, the you know, in between here is hollow, right down below here. So we want to make sure it's lit up um, both ways here on the surface and inside. Otherwise, we'll have mob spawning in here all the time. And we don't want that. But yeah, that that uh, was cool. It was a nice build, right? So I was uh, chilling here, just finishing my roof. And I was not recording nothing. I didn't even have OBS on. I was chilling, listening to a podcast, placing some blocks down. And then all of a sudden, Cup showed up. Cup was here and, you know, just hanging out a little bit, looking around, uh, getting some info, saying maybe he's interested in joining the Perimeter Empire, actually, or, you know, at least looking for some real estate out here. So, you know, we had a friendly debate. It was suspicious, though, because, you know, he's a member of the Queen's square table, <laughs> I think. No, the, the King's. Uh, sorry, sorry. The King. Right, right. Ren is still a King. And, you know, they're all wearing these goggles and he had them on, you know. And then all of a sudden, crazy guy swoops in. Good times with Scar and Snipes, <laughs> Snipes Cub, and then is like, what's going on? I was trying to get a, a cup stuff. I didn't know what what the heck was happening, and all of a sudden he swoops down again and shots uh, shoots me too, hawk eyes me too, and I was like, what's going on? You know, I was not looking for confrontation, but now this needs to stop. We need to teach this guy a lesson. You know, I completely misjudged the situation. I built the creeper uh, setup over there, right, uh, to, you know, deter Green from doing any shenanigans. 
And what happens? He's the nice guy in this whole thing. He's resisting to resist. <laughs> and the guy that lives in the most happy place on the whole server... Oh, he just left. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you know, over there in, in Scarland, he's the menace. Like, he's completely unhinged. I was just minding my business. You know, I'm not, like... Is this flag so provoking or what? <laughs> well, anyways, the point now is I got up this morning at 6 a.m. <laughs> because I knew he was going to be on and he would never expect me to be on that early. And I was trying to sneak up on him to get revenge. Well, you can see how that went. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. He doesn't expect me to be active right now. I was AFKing over in the perimeter hall of goats and now he's over there. He's doing some stuff. This might be a perfect time for a counter assassination. No distractions, we said, right? No distractions. Mm. You know, this whole Hawkeye thing? Ragu has been doing it for years on the Psycraft server. <laughs> He's been a menace like that for years. He's been swooping down on people with his bow one-shotting them in the worst positions. Oh man, where is he? There, there, there. Okay, we need to gain speed. Speed, velocity means damage. Where is he? Somewhere down there, I need to get a good angle on him. He moved. He's no longer down there. <sighs> I think he saw us too when we were swooping by. <sighs> is he hiding? Where is he? Uh oh. He's looking straight at us. <laughs> He's right there. Got some resources. He's holding a totem of undying in hand. I can see it. Yeah. Mm. Can't one-shot him. Totem of undying, he will survive it. Now he's hiding inside somewhere. Probably he's not even hiding, he's just doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here stalking like an absolute madman. Oh man. Why did I get up at 6 a.m. for this? <laughs> <laughs> I should be in bed. Oh man, Doki's gonna wake up very soon. <laughs> oh. Where is he? Where did he go now? Can't see him. Has the spaghetti redstone weirdness going on now? It's doing redstone. This is suspicious. <laughs> like mega sus. Where is he? What is this? He created this crazy redstone mess here. Why? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> How dare you? Are you kidding me? He saw me. He knew. Oh, this is a masterful enemy. He took a shot at me. Oh my god, it was pure luck. Where is he? He's using invisible. Are you kidding me now? Get full health. Where is he? Oh my god. This is not how this was supposed to go. I was. Where is he? There! 
You invisible little... All right. I need to get eyes on him. Where is he? Okay. What is this up there? No, that's not him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, man. <laughs> no. He saw me. He knew. some cover here. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> uh. To watch out above you. Sit in the cauldron. Negate fire damage. Where is he? <gasps> oh, that was a B! Come on now! Where is he? Down here is bad, but I tried to get a look on him. I mean, he, he's sneaking around somewhere, man. Puts his elytra on, I'll spot him. Where is he? Where is he? Man, I got up at 6 a.m. for this. That's way too much adrenaline. There! He's trying to gain velocity. Duke! Where is he? There! It's heroic music playing! Attention, one and all What's going on? Land has now concluded its normal what? <laughs> oh my god! What's going on? Where is he? Whoever has the higher ground has the advantage. I'm running out of rockets. Where is he? Oh. Oh my god, he has some records <laughs> playing with so What's going on? Is there park music? Wait, I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh! Oh, there's phantoms! My god, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what? Oh, there he is. I saw him. Hermitcraft. This Ugh. is your land. Oh. <laughs> With the freaking record. Where is he? He's got rocket. Back to the perimeter. Oh my god. I'm puckering hard. <laughs> go, go, go. Get more rockets. Way more rockets. How's our elytra? No! What? Minecraft crashed! Huh? What is... Why? Uh, I had the client running for like 12 hours plus AFK. No! 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 Client loading up. Here we go. Alright, alright, we're back. No! Oh, man! Oh, this 
stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, here we are. Oh, it didn't fall down, thank God. What is this? Why would you crash Minecraft, you crazy? I guess that ends that duel. I mean, that's <coughs> that could be considered combat logging, right? There he is! Stop, Scar. You'll speak when spoken to. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is psychological warfare. What is. That was beat ups, his voice. How did he do that? With his horn? He's a wizard. <laughs> there he is. Trying to gain altitude, lining up a shot. Look at him. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> oh. It would be impossible to hit him like that. Like if he's flying like that below us, fast, moving left and right. Oh, Scar! Stop! <laughs> Man, I was just farming my tomatoes! Where is he? It can't be above us. <laughs> oh, this is so stressful. Okay. doesn't <laughs> eat eat let's see Do you still need to concentrate? Shut up! <laughs> Hello, Doc. It's official, Scar. You attacked me inside the perimeter. I'm just a peaceful tomato farmer. I ah, I was attacked within the happiest place on Hermitcraft. So it is a tie of crimes. Not really, I was just randomly shooting arrows over here. Just just randomly shooting arrows at the happiest place on Hermitcraft. Yes. How dare you. Okay, listen, man, we need to settle this. We are neighbors, Okay. all right? Mm -hmm. Let's decide once and for good who's the best archer on the server, who's the real Hawkeye. So therefore, okay. I, you, challenge, you propose this? I challenge you to a duel, a fair duel down in the perimeter. Yeah, but you got a hat on. I have a helmet. No, no, not now. 
Oh, not chill. now. This no. is at another time. Yes. Don't you worry. Oh, I see. I you see. do your thing. You know, everybody can prepare. It's a proper duel, you know, with gentlemen's rules and everything. Ooh, gentlemen's rules. Yeah. You, you, all you. right, all right, all right. I'm doing some high-level redstone, as you can see right now. Yeah, I see. I see. It doesn't work. What does it do? But I'm hoping it works <laughs> when I try it again, that is. Are you trying to transfer the signal strength from over there to over this way? Yes. Mm. All right. Then And then you play tunes and things and fireworks? Uh, according yes. As, ah. Yeah, I heard. That looks interesting. Oh, God, it's starting to play. It is? <laughs> Which one's playing? Okay, so here's Attention. the here's my issue. One and all oh, my is God. That it's two of them now. <laughs> normal operating day. We you hear two of them? Joining us yes. In this land of adventure, <laughs> it's fantasy, like, and welcome in this land of adventure and fantasy. You You're in my head, Brad. Stop talking in my head. Real soon. What? Remember, Main Street will continue to operate for one additional hour for your shopping what, what's and going your on? delicious snacking needs. Good night and goodbye. <laughs> yeah, this one triggered here, man. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> are we still on for a duel after an hour talking about Redstone now? Dude, I don't know, man. My brain is spinning from redstone. We're talking about comparators, instant on, chunk loaders. This audio stuff's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think for now it's it's halfway decent. Should be should work out, but yeah. It's just too big, man. Your park's too big. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have said that. <laughs> you heard that before, huh? <laughs> yeah. An unfortunate side effect. It has its pluses and minuses, but at the end of the day, the size of this park is what is going to attract all of the visitors. We're going to have rides and shops and restaurants, and it's going to be quite amazing. It's got to be big, big so it can fit all the good stuff. Now, yeah. now you're so nice again, but as soon as you're in the air with your bow, you become a vicious killer. You know. You know, it's like Jackal and the and Mister Mister Tan or whatever his name was. <laughs> Mister Tan. Hide, man. Hide. Hide, hide, hide. Tan in the hide. That's why. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> Tan and hide. Anyways, uh, so the duel is on, all right? Yep, duel's on. Duel's okay, on. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, did you just draw your bow? Uh, no, no. Uh, I was stretching my elbow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Goodbye, I, uh, doc. I let time. you know Bye. when and when and where and stuff. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, Doc. Have a Bye. Time. Appreciate the help. No worries. So, yeah. This is how my morning went. How was yours? <laughs> I was just helping out mummy, getting little Doki ready for kindergarten, and yeah, that was a a crazy chain of events this morning. I got, got up at 6 a.m. to Stork's car. He switched the tables on us, or turned the tables on us uh, using Invis potion, starting to stalk us, turned to a crazy duel, and then <laughs> he had a redstone problem. <laughs> Well, what can I do? He, had, he addressed my primal instincts. There was a redstone problem. It needed to be analyzed and fixed. Uh, took an hour, but at least, you know, he agreed to the duel. And during the time we were working on the redstone, we were also chit-chattering a little bit. And I am very, very sure he doesn't really know about the arrow cannon. Kind of knew that, uh, you know, I had something going on, but I don't think it clicked. Because, you know, you have to see, for us hermits, it's not possible to keep up with all Hermitcraft episodes going on, right? You cannot. And I don't think he has any idea about the details of the arrow cannon. He probably thought it's some crazy stuff, it has to do with some mob farming or something. So I'm pretty sure he has no idea what's gonna hit him. So this is really really good <laughs> i was thinking for weeks how can we get scar to stand in a certain spot do i need to rebuild the arrow cannon or whatnot but now we have an official duel and he agreed to a gentleman's rule duel and what these gentlemen's rules are like i can totally make up i can create the scenario for this duel now so we can easily have him stand there right we could face off and then 
Um, you know, people standing in their positions. I stand somewhere here. He stands in this spot. And then we take pot shots at each, at each other. Standing pot shots. I tell him, you can take the first shot. And then it's my turn. Oh, baby. I think it's all coming together. I knew it. Patience. Patience. Patience is the name of the game. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Where did you come from? Wow. The damage was completely shielded. Stairs, baby. Copper stairs. Yeah, we need lighting up here. Well, with all these distractions, we still cannot lose our building project out of sight today, right? We gotta focus and yeah, I've been working here a little bit longer, calm down a little bit, you know, chill, digging some holes, putting down some water and yeah, we got four of these bits now. We got one here, we got one there and on the other side, we got them too. So four in total and here, which is pretty cool, look, <laughs> swamp water, right? Also here some of the grass is really dark, uh, you know, taking on the swamp color here. And I like that actually, uh, fits well with the nature theme we got going on, right? And yeah, here we want to hook up iron farms. Um, in the long run, the perimeter empire needs to be completely independent of everything. At the moment, we have an iron farm over at our old starter village. Maybe you remember that. But yeah, it's not really producing anything because we're never there. But here, we're all the time, right? So I thought let's integrate some iron farm setup um, into the whole build here. And yeah, we can check it out so here is uh, the spawn area for the iron golems we will have some villager cells above here that's why i'm also breeding villagers obviously and we have the fence posts here it's kind of semi-important with iron golems here because yes sometimes if you don't do that um, they would spawn right here and if there's a solid block next to them they can get stuck in the walls and suffocate and cause some trouble um, having these fence posts prevents them from taking any damage and being washed out here right away. You can see maybe we can get up here. It's kind of this diamond shape. It's always a bit tricky to get good water flows. But if you look on the outside, so you can see the waterlocked fences, right? And yeah, so every second one there's water sitting and that creates a really perfect flow towards the middle here. And where we have a 4x4 four four hole. Yeah, because everything is uh, on even numbers here in the uh, Hall of Goats. So yeah, you could also do a 3x3 three three if you wanted to. But I wanted to have it nice and symmetrical. And eventually our golems will make it to down here. And I prepared a bunch here already. So the iron, go iron golems would be pushed along here. And for iron golems you don't need uh, complicated waterways. You actually can have these one wide gaps. They will make it through their hitboxes wider. And eventually the iron golems will make it here to the middle. Where we have um, yeah, uh, death snow, right? Uh, sitting and uh, on top we have these two trapdoors to kind of separate the two sides. So in total we will have four farms, right? So there's two uh, on this side uh, coming in from here and there. And then uh, the powdered snow here as a killing mechanism. But uh, powdered snow mm, would take a little bit long. We don't want to have the entities around here all the time. But we want to, you know, have some fun with him and see them being processed and so on and maybe moving around in the base a little bit. So I thought, okay, let's go for the middle ground. We will have viewing areas where they, um, yeah, we will see where they die. And, um, yeah, I don't want them to burn. That's why we use the snow. So when we look down here then and we have another one of these right there on the other side, we will see the iron golems being processed down there and that is cool. You know, it's always good to keep an eye on your farms and, and know everything is running. So it's a little bit of a control window here. But yeah, as I said, the snow or powdered snow doesn't do too much damage to them too quickly. Uh, iron golems are tanky. I mean, one of them survived. 
I don't know, almost two weeks down here, right, with all the tomato attack of the <laughs> killer tomatoes, aka slimes. Uh, so we need to soften them up a bit. And for that, I went to the nether chest now, coming back with three shulker boxes full of lava buckets. And we'll just install lava blades. And we will do that. Let me get in here. Whoop. Right here. All along on top here. And that, you know, will burn the golems down to maybe have like six to eight hearts when they arrive here. And uh, they won't uh, stick, ar stick around too long and uh, nicely get yeah harvested right there. So yeah, pretty much what I need now is my lava buckets. And yeah, we have to stick them in there. If I'm smart, I'm starting from this side. And pretty much, yeah, we put them here and cover everything nicely. Um, with full lava. I mean we could get away with a one-sided blade like that But I'm gonna do double-sided to have them, you know, dipped in, in lava nicely and everything is nice and symmetrical And you know, I mean we went all the way Got all these buckets uh, full so we should use them and now we just have to be careful when we place stuff around here All right. Yeah, this needs to be a solid block too and so on gonna go all the way and we have to do it on both sides and then yeah the killing area is almost done um, only thing that is left is pretty much down here we need to dig that out a little bit and prepare it but the idea is of course that um, the golems will be pushed against uh, the snow here and then you know pushed against the trapdoor can't make it in here but all the items will be washed down and then we can just have water streams you know to flush them this way towards the center Ah, there's lots of water going on here. All right. <coughs> you know, uh, where we later will have our storage uh, in, uh, for everything. The storage room, I decided now, I want to have it really centralized and nice. And uh, let's make it out of here. So definitely right at the center of the Hall of Goats, we will have um, this, a storage setup. I'm not quite sure how big I want to make it. I mean, if you have an insanely big storage uh, array, it also causes uh, a lot of lag and we don't want to lag out our area here completely. I mean, we're adding entities now with the villagers and stuff. We got to be careful. But at the moment, the dream would be that, um, you know, down here in the floor, we have a huge area and there's a glass ceiling. We can walk on top of it here in the Hall of Goat and there would be um, our storage room below. So, you know, here the iron is coming in later. So we could funnel it directly towards storage room or at least some bulk storage for it over there. So that's the basic plan. And uh, I would say, yeah, I gather some beds and stuff and then we set up simple villager spawning cells. That shouldn't be the problem. We did the brunt work with the, with the tunnels and all. Um, yeah, but here it's going to be annoying. I mean, we will have to transport the villagers about. And that's going to be time consuming. We will need six in each cell. So that's 12, 24 villagers in total. Um, yeah, to keep everything running here. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess uh, I'll start placing some lava. Woohoo! All right, perfect time. I just locked back on. Nobody's on and it's night time. That's what we want to see. Um, yeah, let's see if we can transport some villagers over in the cells. Let's try if we can pick one up. Perfect. Okay, makes his way over there. Stops right there. And then there's beds up there in these breeding cells or villager cells. And hopefully they pick a bed and go right up. Nice. Okay, okay. Now we need to hurry. Hopefully, I have no idea how late it is, but we want to get three of them over there. All right, all right, perfect. Let's get these guys out. This guy out. No, you really jump down there and you are going ahead. It's villager handling never goes as planned. We all know that. <laughs> There's one guy in the pit. We should be able to get him out. Okay. How did you end up down there now? All right. And Okay, this guy goes to over there. It's kind of not desired. <laughs> Wait. Okay, go into that bed. Well, would have loved to see him go there. But okay, let's grab another one. 
Oh, some birds are coming. That's also not good. It's a little bit of a downside here, heavy night. <laughs> Die. Okay, okay. Villagers in here. Break minecart. He goes up to there. All good. Let's grab another one. Then we can finish one cell there. Mm. Grabby, grabby. One more. Hopefully they want to walk up to the left side. That would be great. And we have one cell finished. We always need three. What are we doing, good sir? Why... Why would anybody ever want to do that? <laughs> and jump down into the water channel? Thank <sighs> god, we got a bunch here in the breeder. <laughs> huh? What did he just... Sparkle green. Here. Why are you doing this? <laughs> what on earth? Go. Alright. Hopefully they are not occupying beds here now. Then we have to go down and kill them somehow. <laughs> Man, what is going on? They're like, nope, I'm not staying there. I know you want to trap me there and keep me forever. Okay, you pick the bed. Why? Why are we doing this, good sir? This is... This is very concerning. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna do one thing. We're gonna take care of these guys down there. Uh, and we need to make sure the ones we have up here... We properly lock in. Yeah, those guys should not be able to escape. Now in, when daytime comes, we don't want them to run away. We want them to pop out there. Just remove all that to be sure. It should be good enough. I have no idea what they are targeting down there. But they sure do target something. <laughs> Let's investigate. I think the green right the green sparkle tells okay we're we found something. I don't think they survived. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good. They can't survive if they fall down here, so we don't have to worry about it. That's good stuff. Okay, um yeah then lay maybe try to get another one up here while it's still night. I think we caught perfect, like we caught early night. That's actually really cool. Okay. So hopefully this guy doesn't want to go down there now. <laughs> here, go up to to this place here. Pick this bed in the corner. You should be able to pass find there. Right? Come on. Alright, I'm, I'm cool with this too. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's get another one. Okay, now <laughs> they need to pick one of the beds that are left over still. I hope they can pass fine to it. Otherwise, I have to remove the trapdoor there. That is in the way a bit. Up, up. Okay, let's see where he wants to go. Alright, alright. Good, good. Yep, in there. Into the bed. Okay, cool. This cell is fully loaded. Mm. Still night. We can maybe we can we can get the last one too. No, no, don't. Okay, cool. Boom. Grab another one. Eat something. And then we should be able to complete the first cell here. It's not as bad as I thought, moving them. I mean, few hiccups. Nothing too serious. Yes, yes, perfect, perfect. Good sir, this way. Wait, wait. This way, no, no, don't. Jump off here now. This way, through. Yes. Okay, carpets, moss carpets. They are here. Let's cover that all. Who's that? Was carpet in your face? Perfect. And we do we have a glass block? Yes. Nice. That glass block goes here. We put some of that on top and now quick. Quickly remove all the dirt so they can't only exit to one spot. 
Okay. <laughs> Got a bunch of them in. That's that's great. Okay, that should be cool now. Okay, now we can also have a look at these villager cells. Uh, in difference to the uh, very simple, um, you know, iron golem farm I had going. Oh, we need to close this door there. These ones will use villager cells that are stacked together in bunches of three. And they are far enough apart, so their body check range doesn't intersect. Um, pretty much, if you have three villagers and the beds, that's a click of three, and they call each other buddies. Uh -huh, yeah, they popped out at the perfect spot. Nice. And, you know, those are a click now, but they are far enough apart that these counts as two villages. So here's a village, there's a village. And then, if you put a scary mob into the middle, we can scare them both and then we will get uh, two iron golems if everything goes well every time they try to spawn one. But yeah, we have them hooked up there now and that is cool. That was the tricky part. Um, we will also have to get a zombird in here and the zombird, uh, and I just did this so we have symmetry in our build here actually. And it makes it a little bit more complicated. We have a 2x2 two two bubble column that will have the zombie bouncing on there. And we will have to align the zombie to toss him in here so he sits exactly in the middle. And then he can scare both of those. And then um, we got spawning. Another issue we will have, of course, um, the spawning area reaches up to roughly here. So relatively big something along here. I measured it out in my test world. So we will have to make sure to spawn proof that area up here, you know, those upside down stairs here, Iron Golem could spawn on the flat ground here, um, and so on. It doesn't reach up too far, I think up to here roughly. Uh, up to here Iron Golems could spawn above the villagers. So we don't have to spawn proof up there or anything, but also here on the ground up to here half slabs and also some half slabs on the outside here. And this needs to be slapped and here needs to be slapped. Um, but yeah, and we're done with that. We should be able to focus all our spawns on the water uh, floor below and we should be golden. So yeah, now I just need to repeat this process three more times for all the spawning cells and yeah, obviously I also need to build them first. At least uh, the villager setups here. I don't think um, I'm gonna build the zombie bouncer right away. But I built it in this cell so you can see it right away before we, you know, put the redstone to it and, you know, pretty up everything and you don't really see what's going on. So, yeah, that's that. And now, yeah, back to watching a podcast, I guess, or watching a movie <laughs> and uh, transferring villagers. I don't know if we have enough at the moment. Is this is maybe three more in there or four or five? Well, by the time we're done, probably we have bread more already. All right. Um, yeah. Next up over there. Wow. <laughs> it's the next morning about uh, 9 a.m. European time and it is full house. The Europeans are on. Geralis, uh, Stress and Iskal all working on new episodes. You can tell they've been on a lot the past few days. But Iso is also here. What are you doing, man? Go to bed. <laughs> He's always awake so late. He's not having a healthy sleep schedule. <laughs> but anyways, I'm also not having a healthy sleep schedule. It actually took me until half past one last night to get all these villagers moved and positioned. And yeah, they're all in their cells now. Main holdup was uh, took some time to breeding. And then uh, I asked for sleep, another hermit <laughs> uh, didn't see it, didn't sleep and all, uh, I don't know, villagers ran out six at once and jumped down into the lava. So there's that. <laughs> uh, that took time to rebreed them. But yeah, we got them all in place now. Um, here, you know, so in total we got 24 villagers in position now, which is really nice. I also went ahead and did a small collection area down there for now as a start. So we got something because I saw some iron golems randomly running around. Ah, <laughs> yeah, talking about it, right? Here we have one. So this is an area we will later spawn proof. Um, yeah, you know, the villages also spawn um, 
yeah, golems in naturally, so to speak, as defense without being scared. And yeah, we have one over there later. We have to make sure we kill them or they at least need to be out of reach. So, you know, our farm keeps on working. And yeah, with the villagers now in place, um, next stage would be to kind of line up uh, our scary uh, guys, right? And yeah, to do so, we pretty much um, yeah want to get them in here. And to get them in here is uh, annoying. We can spend a little bit time, uh, build something, and then we can just, I don't know, wash them in pretty much. So uh, what we want to have is maybe something like a 5x5 five five here, 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three. Yeah, 4x4 four four should also be enough, something like that. And then um, we want to wash them into this corner here. Uh, with water kind of so um, let's get some half slabs so they get easily over that bump here right that's kind of what we should consider so right now you know, they could maybe get stuck here so you, you put half slabs like this on this side and then it should be should be alright we gotta increase the height of the fence here a little bit but something like this should probably work pretty well, I guess. We just wash him into the corner. Okay, let's see. Then we want to have some wall around it, I guess. Something like that. Like this. And then, yeah, we, we heighten the fence here a little bit more. We gotta do this four times, but, you know, I'd rather invest this time here a little bit to get it done. Um, instead of yeah, having to hustle with the Zombots forever. All right, and now I think, uh, yeah, we can post a sign there. This should, should help uh, flushing them in. All right, zombie hunting time. Let's see if this is a keeper. You wanna keep something? No, you don't wanna pick up? Yes, good. <laughs> Nothing is scarier than a charged creeper. Oh my god, that looks... <laughs> that looks so weird. The eyes. <laughs> okay, wait, it must be somewhere around here. Yeah, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Alright, and then we go over here. Are we coming? Oh, yes. All right. Let's find the water a bit. Yeah, maybe I should remove that sign there. I don't think that is needed. He should be dropping through the water flow. Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. We got one in there. Now let's see if we can actually hold him down. Let's grab the... Oh, he swam back up. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to get the water out of there. All right. That's good. Okay. And I think... Wait, let me remove this. And then we just put the fence around so they cannot jump... Uh, high enough to scare our villagers. Our villagers are still feeling feeling safe. Cool. Yeah. So this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> Gotta catch three more and don't annoy the hermit so much with nighttime. Um, I asked if I could keep nighttime now, but yeah, if you have so many on and they're doing things, you always feel a little bit bad about it. So you don't want to overdo it. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna prepare everything here and yeah. Haul some zombirds. I guess that's it. Let's take a nap. <laughs> and what? I love how we started down in the perimeter. Yeah. <laughs> like all the way down. Yeah, man. Well, Scar's got a nice view. I love yeah. this. So wait, just walk in. I'll fly up. You know, there's an elevator. Go all the way up. Okay. And then I'll... Should I'll... I go up or should I just stay down here? No, no, no. Go up. Go up. Here, if you come, come up here. <laughs> yep. I'm in. And then you just ride up this elevator. I meet you on top. Okay. <laughs> all right. On my way. Uh, all right. Cool. 
Keralis can test our, our epic hymn. Hopefully everything works now and the redstone is not broken. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there <gasps> we go. <laughs> oh, that took a while. <laughs> yeah. And? Dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> Optimize. Automate. Thrive. You know who the goat is as soon as I step in. A true OG, the high mind is what I'm repping. Try to form against me, you won't try to like the weapon. It's Doc, you probably oh. know me better as a legend. I'm stuck. Wait, I'm like breaking Thanos stuff. In his armor, be Minecraft. <laughs> and go become a this farmer. Is... Take a team to calm you. You this don't so want no problem. I'm yeah, I know. This world. I have to <laughs> it's my hymn. You want to join the perimeter empire? We got the best hymns, man. These ain't YouTube videos. These here are motion pictures. Still so ridiculous. Does he hear this guy? I don't think so. But nobody says I cannot change out all his discs. What? <laughs> wait a second. One sound. One sec. No sound. Okay. <laughs> that was great. So how does this activate? Is it on a daily basis as well? Or no, no. Not? Only when you come up the elevator, it automatically triggers. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You know when I when I, I wish you could spread it. Yeah, when I, when I stand All up here, this. you know, and then enjoy my epic empire, and I listen to my music, and I go over and I spit on my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this guy. What you know, I, I I thought the biggest problem was this dude over there, right? So I started shooting creepers at him, but he ain't doing nothing. This guy who lives in the amusement park, he assassinated me. Oh, the hot guy. Yes. <laughs> the hot guy, you. He's insane. He's <laughs> completely unhinged, man. He's getting lethal with that bow, dude. Dude. Uh, He's getting dangerous. Yeah. But f you know, first I was just laughing at it, but now he is really dangerous. But don't fret. The goat has a solution for it. I challenge him to a duel. <laughs> I will teach him a lesson. I will melt his face off, man. <laughs> Be careful, man. He's been yeah. practicing on everybody with that bow. Dude. This is insane. But this is actually a curious uh -huh. idea. I should Tell replace me. all his records with my national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> he might have spent like days just doing that, but do it. Dude, I helped him a little bit an hour yesterday. First he shot me and then I helped him an hour synchronize everything. Wow. I have a right Dr. to switch nice out. Guy. Yeah, I have a right to switch out all the discs, man. <laughs> oh, dude. That would be glorious. <laughs> Coming on next time. Being all happy and cheerful. Dude, I, I'm <laughs> Your doing it. I got plenty of music this <laughs> How, Have you been? Like, let me just see here. Let's just fly mm. over there. Yeah. Where is that? He has. I heard it somewhere over here. Yeah, he has two service announcements. Like he has daylight detectors, and then in the evening, you know, goodbye everybody, thanks for your time at the amazing. <laughs> sky. In the morning is the opening sequence. Don't forget to say hello to Jelly, bro. I can I can quote that thing by now. Here he's got it. Over. He got. <laughs> <laughs> he got them all over the place, oh. man. Here, here it is. So that is how it works. Yeah, and I'm surprised he's doing redstone, man. I I'm. Sh Scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that here. <laughs> Don't. This is the morning message. You oh, here, here right there. Uh, I've heard, I've heard uh, a morning message just just a second ago because I, I, I was just flying by over here and yeah. getting some records for him. Wait. Maybe that was a stupid Didn't move. Did I pick up some I levers like... just now? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> now we broke uh -oh. it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> No, wait, uh -oh. wait. Here we go. Wait, it doesn't play. Maybe I, it's... I don't understand. How does it activate? I don't understand this redstone here. It's very complicated uh, f for what it does. Hmm. Well, technically not, but wait. No, here we go. Attention, one and all, Scarland has now concluded its normal operating day. We thank you for joining us in this land oh, of adventure, all day long, and exploration. So this is the evening message, right? Every evening that stupid thing plays. And then, so you hear it twice per day. Yes, more. No, he's testing it nonstop. Like all day for the last two days. All I've been hearing was... <laughs> Dude, I bet yeah. he's gonna have, have like like, and a, this like one. midday announcements. Yeah, 
This one. That's the morning one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Scarland, the happiest place in all of oh, Hermitcraft. Now you imagine you live here, all right? <laughs> that's what, that's what the good neighbors are for. Just sweep, uh, sweep, uh, switch all the discs to your disc, and everything's gonna be fine, dog. Yeah, Trust man. Me. I think that is a glorious plan. And just hide his discs. <laughs> oh, he would for be all. so sad. I'm so but happy. worth it. Yeah, it's so worth it. <laughs> I, I, that's the plan, man. I love it. That's revenge, man. All right. I don't. I don't want to be a part of it, so I'm out of here. Yeah, you're not. Are you a kinfolk, like a king, king, king's folk guy? No, I'm nothing. Well, the thing is that I got a shop together with the king, so I'm like, I'm, I, I, I don't. I'm not sure where I stand. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, you're not wearing the goggles, so I can trust you. No, 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 no. I'm not a guard. I'm not a guard. So you can all trust right, me. Right, like, I'm right. not gonna be backstabbing anybody. So, yeah, so I'm not, not quite it, okay? sure what's going on with Cup. He came over here and requested asylum, but he was still wearing his goggles and then hot guy shot him oh uh, like, i'm also getting drawn into all kinds of stuff you know i just want to live and thrive in the perimeter that's pretty much this it this is this is worse than twitch drama man the server <laughs> yeah. stuff is going down it's like a soap opera man you know <laughs> <laughs> we're too old for this look at your flag isn't it majestic oh, all right i tell you i have the biggest the flagpole on the huge. server it's majestic everybody knows <laughs> <laughs> well all those diamonds but such a waste i just see them all to cry what do you mean i'm so poor as well Building <laughs> i don't blocks. have any diamonds man <laughs> well technically yes but look at like there's like hmm there's at least like four stacks in that little pillar right six well there was a nice visit by Keralis. <laughs> checked out the perimeter a little bit he was impressed by my flagpole and um, maybe considering moving into the perimeter it's a trend lately. Sooner or later, everybody's gonna live in the perimeter, and the king's gonna be alone in his kingdom. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I also finished uh, all the iron golem farm setups here now. I did some preliminary testing and did a small change to the kidding setup. I'll show you in a second, but yeah, let's let's check it out. So here is a completed cell. Um, Got the redstone uh, on top, we will disguise that later a little bit better. For now it's uh, just about functionality. And I have a lever here, this of course will be all wired to a centralized on and off switch. And yeah, the basic idea is this, of course, a Zombird needs to scare the villagers to entice them to spawn golems. Uh, at the moment um, we just push down um, these blocks on top here, so the golem cannot really jump. And if this is uh, golem, I'm saying the zombie, right? And if this is depowered, well, we give them some room to jump here, right? And eventually they jump high enough to start scaring the villagers, and sooner or later, boom, iron golem spawning. As you could see, they spawned on the furthest edges. Uh, thankfully, we have our fences there. And yeah, the small change I made, I think we see, see it best from here, is I removed the snow. It was just a little bit too slow and yeah now we have the lava blade but from on top we can still nicely observe um, when the golems are processed here also encountered a weird situation here when the golems made it into the snow it seemed the snow could just literally vanish it was really weird it didn't melt or anything right that's not not gonna happen here it's like it's it vanished the golem kind of punched and I saw the snow vanishing. It could be a bug I encountered here, but it definitely made uh, this killing chamber here not so viable. But yeah, this is uh, still really good. And you just saw one iron golem coming through. Obviously, it's not always the case that these cells will be perfectly synchronized and always spawning golems at the same time. But in many cases we will get two. And um, yeah, for sure one, yeah, there was two again going down into the system and yeah being processed and then if we run all four um, cells we have now we should make yeah 2600 um, iron per hour and um, I think that should be good 2400 maybe something along along those lines roughly each cell should make about 600 ish iron per hour 
And I think that uh, should take care of our iron situation for the, for the time being. Um, of course, uh, everything needs to be prettied up and, you know, a proper storage set up for that, bulk storage for the iron and all of that. Uh, so yeah, it has like a yeah, million more things to do with this project. Um, but I think it turned out great. We nicely integrated it into our base and it um, gives a bit of a, a lively feeling. So with this project, um, Glotzerife, or the Glotz, how we call him, helped me a ton, you know, um, figuring out a good layout. There's good fabric tools that can be used and so on to yeah, position, um, you know, villages properly. And I would like to ask you a favor, um, if you will do so. That would be so nice because, yeah, I asked Glotz to actually stream during the time um, this video comes out. So after you're done watching, um, right now, because we are slowly but surely wrapping it up, it would be really, really, really nice of you to go over, click on the link in the video description um, for the Twitch stream of Glotz and um, yeah, say hi. It's really interesting technical Minecrafting. You can see there too, uh, strongly related to the SciCraft server as well. So it would be cool and I would love to see what a shout out like that could do. And if you guys really show up, um, you know, in big numbers, that would be really, really cool. So that's a positive note, trying to support the community, trying to support the people that support me. Um, one negative thing that is going on right now on the YouTubes, um, I wanted to address that real quick, uh, came to my attention that uh, the spammers and scammers are active again in the video comment section. They have a new shtick right now, I don't know if it's a new shtick, but what they do is they pretend to be me, they reply to you in the comment section and say, hey, it's me, but doc on Telegram. You know, don't fall for that. I would never ask you to come to Telegram and give me uh, some private information and try to scam you for 50 bucks or something, <laughs> right? Um, that's what these scammers do. Sometimes they even do more damage. Be careful with that stuff. Always double and triple check. You will see a check mark next to my channel name that goes for all other hermits, of course, as well. And, um, you know, you can also see the subscriber count. So these fake accounts should be easily detectable. And I guarantee you, I will never ask you to contact me via my YouTube DMs. I will never contact you via my YouTube DMs, nor will I ask you to, I don't know, use your Telegram or any other shady stuff. Uh, don't fall for that. Um, we really got to be careful what you can do to help is, of course, you can know, if you see comments like that, uh, there is um, a way to report a comment and just do so, you know, report it as spam, scam, there is different scat categories. Um, it's not really worth it, uh, you know, going after individual accounts like that. It's all controlled by bots. You will just waste your time writing back and forth um, and whatnot. Um, don't waste your time. Just report them and don't don't join random Telegram channels. Uh, goes for my channel, um, you know, and all other hermits, of course. Um, I saw they also had some issues with those uh, yeah, scammers in the comment section. So I guess it's part of the deal, right? Uh, if the YouTube audience grows a little bit, also these shady characters will discover you more and more. But we can combat it together. I'm banning what I can using tools to get rid of them in the comment section and so on. But yeah, there's always new ways they do it. Uh, just wanted to let you know because yeah, I heard one of my patrons actually, uh, you know, replied to that and was super stoked. Hey, you know, I'm, you know, Doc um, replies to me and it's amazing. And then was super disappointed finding out it was actually not me. So aside of them trying to do damage is of course also mean, you know. Um, so yeah. Don't support that crap. Let's ban them. <laughs> All right. So yeah, with that said, guys, I think we wrap it up for today's episode. Lots of stuff happened. I think next episode I should be ready. We got to build some sort of dueling arena down there or some way um, to make him feel safe. Um, already talked to methods. We will do some minor tweaks to the cannon. Um, and then hopefully next episode we will have our duel with Scar. In the meantime... I will start to <laughs> annoy him a little bit and um, yeah, over the next few days <laughs> replace his service announcement with the epic GOAT anthem. So with that said, <laughs> i see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!